Hello. So I'm trying something interesting. I was going to throw away this piece here because I bought it for my old apartment and it doesn't fit anywhere in this new apartment and I was just kind of over it. But it's such a big canvas and nice frame and it's really sturdy. So I thought, I wonder if there's something that I could do with it instead. So I drew up a concept that I actually think is really cool. And then I walked to the craft store, which is a part of my daily routine now, and I grabbed some materials for it. And I decided since I have so many things that I literally have to do today or my career is going to be over, that this would be a good place <laughs> to start. You know, something that doesn't need to be done at all and um, won't really benefit me by being done. That's what I wanted to get done today. So this is the concept that I drew. It's basically the hot air balloons turn into actual balloons, and then there's a little girl down here holding them. And I was going to paint it originally, but then I decided it might be really cool to use actual string and then cut her body out and do some really cool stuff playing with um, just like textures and materials and perception because I usually don't mix media a lot, but I actually, this guy actually drew me a picture um which was really cool and then in it he used real flower petals and it inspired me to use more materials in my art than just you know paint watercolors i swear i just heard a, a dog go Rawr! <laughs> by the way this is what my backyard looks like literally all the time right now because i'm just perpetually doing some type of project that requires painting or spray painting and yeah it's it's a mess but when it's finished it's gonna be dope hello art <laughs> okay so i mixed a couple colors i drew up this mock-up on my ipad and printed it out as sort of a guide because the way i'm going to do this is uh in layers and then i want to cut out a each individual piece and um layer them up so that it has a little bit more like texture to it. So basically I'm gonna do all the clothes on this one and then on this one I'll do the body parts so that I can cut them out and then layer them later so that it looks a little bit more texturized.
Okay, so I stopped filming because Kyle came here and then I just forgot. But what you've missed is I have attached all of the strings and I have started attaching her hair. And I asked Kyle, <laughs> do you think that she looks better with pigtails or braids? I thought that the wind was blowing back the other way. <laughs> And that she was going to hold it in her hand on the front. That's what you said originally. No, that's never what I said. But that's actually kind of cute to make it look like she's that's, standing from the front. That's what you said at the beginning. You were like, it's going to come down. It's going to hold into her hand. And then it's going to go below the painting. No. That was dumb as hell, dude. How am I going to get this untied? I don't want to cut it because then it would be too short. Okay, well now that I'm untying her pigtail, what do you want her hairstyle to be, Kyle? I think the way remember, you were doing it is perfect. Hey, remember when everybody thought you were my boyfriend? Yep. What, what was the reason? What happened? It was because we went to Watts. Oh, yeah. I think it was because Noah said you guys are such a cute couple. Is that what happened? No. Oh, no. there no, was something that happened little, before the that. The girl said something about you guys make a cute couple. Hi. Baker looks like there's a ghost behind my head. Wait, this is kind of cool. Hey, I think I hate this. I think this is really creepy, actually. Right? Isn't it kind of creepy? That you're giving the painting a haircut? Like, it makes it, like, I feel like it was cool and mystical, and now it's, like, creepy. Yeah, it looks a little bit like a horror film. The hair took it to, like, next level. <laughs> it's because I don't know what's going on with the hair that it's creepy to me, though. Okay, listen, this is her back. Is she standing like this? Well, I know that now, but why is it like that? Do it the other way when you had it braided. Oh, the piggy tails? Yeah, that was great. You think this is better? Yes. Or do you think I should give her braid? Either way. No, you pick one. Braid. I don't like that choice. <laughs> I think it's weird. Should I, should I rip it off? It looks like The Shining a little bit. Should I rip it off? It's kind of weird. And just add like painted hair. I was asking the dog. He didn't, he didn't have anything. Oh my God. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Turn that off. <laughs> So, <laughs> we both decided mutually that my thing is really bad. <laughs> it's not good. It's you not good. Face. It's creepy, dude. I was, I was looking at my phone and I looked up at you and you were just staring off in the distance going like this. It's like some it's like a craft that like a really old woman would have done in the 80s. <laughs> right? It's like a craft like that where you're like, wow, that's creepy as hell. And you know it's true. <laughs> it's so bad, dude. Like, why did I think? Okay, wait, but say what What's you said. What's funny is before. as soon as you said that, here's what I remember. When I was growing up, <laughs> I'm going to send this to my cousins. When I was growing up, my cousins in Pittsburgh had, when you would walk down their stairs, you know, there's like the wall at the top when the stairs go down through or whatever. They had a hand that stuck out of the wall like this. Yeah. And it, it was a ceramic thing. And it was holding these balloons Ew. that went up like this. So That's it just looked like there was bad. like a clown's like hand That's that went through bad, the wall. Dude. So when you said it's like that this woman, it's a crap that somebody would do in the 80s or whatever. I'm like, that's that. That's that thing. Fuck. Yeah, it's really bad. The yarn hair is very creepy. But tell them what you said, which was, okay, but to be fair, it was easy to be sick. So, yes, yeah, so it was when I came in and you pitched the concept of like, this is what it's going to look like. I was like, that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. And then it, as it unfolded. It got really creepy. <laughs> I want to go look at it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> fucking weird like granted it's not finished but like i don't think i'm gonna finish it because it is in fact bad 
It is, without a doubt. Well, well I don't God. know. There's that thing that my brother and I always say about construction, which is like, if it's 99% done, it looks terrible, but at 100%, it looks amazing. So, so it could be that thing it? that if you finish it, it's like, hey, you know what? This is actually pretty cool. Here's the thing. Because right now, it looks like an absolute disaster. It might actually, maybe I should try to do this thing that might make it come together before we, like, you know, write it off entirely. Because I might as well give it, you know what? I got this far. I spent literally my entire day on it. Take it down. Let's give it a try. That's so absurd. <laughs> absurd that looks so bad it's so absurd this is the greatest thing i'm so happy i'm here right now oh my god it's so bad this is, i might buy this off you for a thousand dollars it's unimaginably bad you should take it it's unimaginably bad like we should take it to Notches for his Halloween party. <laughs> and then just like, it's just like a creepy ass prop. So nobody has any idea why it's there. It's genuinely unsettling. It's genuinely. This looks like there's like a, a warp in like this time space continuum or something. And then all of a sudden, oh it's my like God. a windy day. Yeah, a windy day. <laughs> the... The smart thing to do, I think, would have been to just, like, paint on strings. So it looked like there were balloons floating in the sky. Th that would have worked. That Honestly, have worked. it's just a bad picture. Like, it's all around just not good. So, like, whatever. You know what else you could have done? Huh? You could have taken this, and then you, you could have taken, like, a couple things of, like, small buckets of paint, and then just dumped it on it in various spots. Are you talking about acrylic flipping or whatever? No, I'm just saying, like, if you, like, distressed it. You know how, like, you distressed denim? Yeah, it's Do just, like... this crappy picture. Generally, just not worth the effort. Baker, would you, you know get what I, out of the paint? <laughs> you know what I might do, though, is... Oh, my God, is he eating super glue? No. Scary. I think I'm just going to paint over the canvas and use the canvas. Because it's such that a good, good framed it's canvas. It's a good framed canvas. All right, well, this was an adventure. I damn tried my best. And... You know, every once in a while you gotta fail. Everyone's like, not everything can be a win. When you realize the glue situation. Duh, oh, no. It's just so, it's just so far from good. Like that's crazy how far from good it is. All right, I'm gonna rip it apart now. I was, I was so confident in it and that's why it's fucked up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I went to the store to buy yarn for this. How crazy is that? Think about the amount of effort today. I like- I'm just thinking about how funny it would be if I came back here in like three weeks and this is on the wall, like right here. <laughs> half, half torn down. You know what? I put the time into it. Like, look at rest in peace, dude. It looked so cool on the concept art. I just went too hard, I think. Tried too many new things. And you know what I learned? Tried too many new things. I learned to stay in my fucking lane. Yeah. Bad. Oh no. Now it's oh, gonna now, hold. Now, now the glue it's works? Gonna hold. Wow. Baker, go. Wait, no, 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 no. Ah, ah. <laughs> 